So, and today we have another great talk incoming with Antonio. So, Antonio, is there anything you want to say before we, you know, we get into the topic at hand or anything you want to promote? Uh, promote my Twitter. My ad is at Baker Mayfield, uh, two D's, and the L is capital I. Dope. And I'm going to have it somewhere on this video. I don't know where I'm going to put it. And I'm going to have it down in the description box below. So, yeah. Tonio, we're going to add a link so I can, you know, put that there. But, you know, I've been waiting to talk to you for a while, right? <laughs> With all this interruptions, all this stuff that's been happening, I've been wanting to get your take on how this offseason went, right? Because, you know, we got Denzel Valentine, we got Evan Mobley, we got Ricky Rubio, we got Larry Martin. So, how do you feel about this offseason, right? Like, how do you, how would you rate this? I feel... The off season was 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 okay. Uh I feel like so we got Evan, Evan Mobley, who's gonna be our franchise player most likely. I like that. And we got uh Ricky Rubio trade. I, I, I kinda like that because he's on aspiring contract, so his big contract really is gonna matter to me. Um he can provide better in presence, which we need. For the young guys, he can he can uh, he can play make, which we also need. We didn't give up that much. Um, and then with the Larry marketing trade, I, I I wasn't fully on board with it, but I guess I'm starting to work a little little bit of it. Um, Larry marketing, I think the last two seasons has hasn't been that good. He averaged not 19 this one year. He averaged 19 this one year, um, but but the last two seasons he also has has assistant role. He was under Jim Boylan, um, who didn't know how to he, he didn't use him correctly at all, and yeah. he was under Billy Donovan. And yeah, what I heard from Bulls fans was he just uh, he was he wasn't that good. He can provide shooting though, which we need. But my my main thing is uh but the contract is we're paying a guy 70 million to come off the bench. That's why that's why I don't that's why I don't get. Um in the and I'm not sure he deserves 17 million. Also Oh, so I don't want to say. Um, so basically, I feel like there's just better options out there. I guess it's all the right move, but we did. The main concern with Larry Nance, even though he provided a lot of value on the floor, was we needed some kind of offense, which Larry Nance was limited on on that front. Lowry market and replaces that. But then again, 17 million come off the bench. You got all this money locked up into all these big men. You got Cody got Kevin Love getting paid this uh enormous amount of money. And you also got Jared, you just, just also just paid Jared Allen. And I know the Kevin Love situation, his agent said no buyout. And uh, no one wants to trade for him unless we're uh, attaching assets, and that's just not really a smart move because the Cavs are rebuilding. And what, and realistically, what, uh, realistically, we are Cleveland, so I mean, it's not, it's not like uh, people are gonna die and die to come here with that cap space. Uh, you also have we also have to pay Colin Sexton and then you have to pay Darius Garland. So the money situation is gonna be very, very difficult. Uh so yeah, that's not taking my market. And that's a Valentine move I don't like. Mm, um, I don't either. I, like I really thought he was tall, but when I looked up and seen he was six four, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> he, Denzel Valentine, he, he just been really, really bad. Like I, I just don't understand why we even tried to sign him. Like 
all I heard was bad things about him. Like he would just take stupid shots. I think I think this one this one video I watched on this thread, he was dribbling up, and there was like I think it was like like almost the end of the back court, uh, almost the end of the fourth quarter. He just took a stupid shot. He just he just he just dribbled up, just took a stupid three, and airballed it. I'm like. I'm like, what are you doing? Ah, uh, and I just don't. Get, I, I feel like I feel like a, a guy we could have got was Garrison Matthews, who's a very who's a very good shooter for Washington last season. And I know they looked at him, but but that was, that was the guy I wanted, not Denzel Valentine. But I think that stop season was was okay. So really, so really, uh, now to you, how was your how was the off season your house? Me, I give it uh, a B minus by default, like because at the same time, I know, you know, I've had a weird relationship about talking about Kobe Altman, but I cannot be blinded to the fact that he did get, he did trade for Laurie Markkinen, he did trade for um, Ricky Rubio, he did sign Denzel Valentine. Now, am I like you? Like when you said. Um, do I think Laurie Markman is worth that much money? I don't. I don't believe that either. Especially now, the pinch. If you know, if that's what they have planned for him. But you know, I, I think I give it a B minus. I still think it is some things he has to answer. I think he left us with more an, uh, more questions than answers. But uh, I think that's where this season he's going to have to correct a lot of those things, right? Which on that subject, though, and I'm glad. You That's Atlantis with that money.